I wonder how much of, of aspirin is actually placebo effect. Probably all of it. Maybe. Oh god, no. Please, kill me. Kill me before I have to do the level again. Yeah, kill me. <laughs> I didn't want to go back down to the next checkpoint. I wanted to die before that happened. Yeah, that's like the worst spirit game. You'd be like, oh no, it's not an instant kill. It's going to possibly put me in the level before then. No! <laughs> and then it killed me. Bring me back to the other checkpoint! Help! Help! <laughs> that is the, that's, that's way more dangerous than dying. God, that's like the one scenario in life where you would be like that. To be like, imagine you're falling like off a cliff and there's a platform that could save you, and you're like, "Oh no, I'm gonna respond." Th then, oh no, I don't want to do that. That would never happen. Yeah. Can you imagine that? Like, it, it, that's like the that's the that's a real night. That's how that's how gamers have a nightmare. You know, there's people who have the nightmare of they're falling in space infinitely. Yeah. A gamer's nightmare is that they're falling in space towards a checkpoint they already got back to. <laughs> and they don't have a save state. And they don't have a save state because they're not running this on an emulator, they're running it on the original device. Yeah, and the worst thing is, it's an old, it's an old school SNES. <laughs> no! The technology just gets worse it's an old and school worse. SNES game, no wait, it's an old school Pokemon. <laughs> oh god. So it's a... I still like the idea that the entirety of the original Pokemon games are held together by a, what was it, um, duct tape, a glue stick, and a whole lot of prayer. You know what's funny? I, I remember, speaking of Pokemon, I heard that they actually sued a guy that doesn't exist. What? I, I, I kid you not. They sued a guy that doesn't exist. For what? I don't know how much they sued him for, but apparently they won. No, not for, no, not for how much. What did they sue him for? Uh, I think copywriting Pokemon. Ah, uh, humanity. Like, yeah, stealing their IP. That was it. Like, okay, I hear you guys, but counterpoint, he literally doesn't exist. Yeah, but we want money from this man. It doesn't exist. So basically, I think what I understand is that it was released under a company name, mm -hmm. and like under like a certain guy. Okay. But all of that stuff was fake. So when they sued him, like there was nothing to actually sue. Well, what would have been funnier is if they they sued the guy that doesn't exist and they lost. <laughs> that would be even funnier. Congratulations, you lost to a literal nobody. You lost to nothing. <laughs> which means that which also doesn't mean you won. I think you guys forgot to drop something. <laughs> <laughs> no, we dropped. No, we dropped the the, uh, the person that Nintendo was suing. We dropped, <laughs> we, we, dropped, we dropped the person that Nintendo won against. <laughs> nothing. You hear they're making a? I hear they're making a Nintendo World at Universal. Yeah, I heard finally. about that. It'll, be, it'll cost an ex Whoa, okay. It will cost it'll probably cost an obscene amount of money to go there and not be worth it in the end. Yep. And it'll, yeah, screw it. I'll do it on foot. But, it, but then they'll put in like one Pokemon related thing and then everyone and their mother will show up. Yeah. Ah, oh, shoot. I lost my momentum like that. In, in like this, an idiot. I lose my momentum. In this area, you can catch Pokemon that aren't in your region. So you can catch like Pokemon exclusive to China. Everyone and their mother shows up. Like, a po yeah. like Pokemon Go, just to be clear. Not, like, actual Pokemon, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. I remember Pokemon Go. There was, like, like, 20 different people that lost their lives walking off of a cliff. Yeah. It's tragic, but also... And that's where they had the whole, like, be careful where you're going thing. Yeah, they had to add that. Yeah. Because they could have... They were. I'm pretty sure they were sued multiple times for that. I believe it. I just... I just find it funny just to be like, wow, Pokemon Go did in one summer what Michelle Obama couldn't do in eight years. Get kids to go outside and play. Yep. Oh, good grief. I mean, a guy Pokemon I work with... Go the I mean... <laughs> oh, Christ. I mean, a guy, I... a guy I work with still plays Pokemon Go, and it's like, okay, fine. If you have fun with it, I don't give a crap. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't know. I... I, I'm... I'm not trying to make this whole podcast or like even this, this channel political, no. but I think it's just hilarious whenever a politician shows just completely how out of touch they are. Yeah. 
like when that one guy is like, well, uh, I, well, if, if there's too many people on that island, I'm pretty sure I'm worried that it'll tip over and capsize. <laughs> or Trump, or, <laughs> An or Trump creating <laughs> NFTs. <laughs> and then selling Please. out, which is pretty to be like, okay, he's stupid, but we are also stupid. Yep. I feel like running is faster than driving. Probably. It's probably more fun. It is a little bit more fun, yeah. It's like wide open space running at full speed. That's, that's awesome. It could be a placebo effect because running fast sounds cooler than driving fast. I mean, if I could run at 60 miles per hour, I wouldn't need a car. I wouldn't have a car. Yeah, I think we all... Well, technically speaking, you'd probably get exhausted. Well, yes. I mean, there's a reason The Flash has a car. But he has a car? Yes. It's a sports car, of course. And Wonder Woman has a plane, despite the fact she can fly. Well, actually, I seem to recall in the older, older, older Wonder Woman, she actually did not have the ability to fly. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I mean, Superman didn't have the ability to, to fly at first. Yeah, that's right. It was just... There's, there's a reason why it was lead tall buildings in a single bound. Yep. Because he was actually jumping. Yes, and then the and then the cartoon came out and made him flying because it was easier to animate, and they kept it. Yep. Which is like one of the funniest backstories we'd be like. So you're telling me that you the entire reason that he could fly is because they didn't want to animate him jumping? Yes. <laughs> I mean, did you know the original? Uh, do you know Frankenstein, the Frankenstein monster? Uh, you know how he's always like he's got his eyes like he's out in front of him. He's got his hands out in front of him. He yes. walks like a zombie. Yes, because he's blind. Yep, it's because he's blind. From a crossover movie with the Wolfman. Yes, because the blood didn't match or something like that. What good is a what brain? Was that? Well, not because of a crossover movie with the Wolfman. It's because of a movie that happened sooner where a guy, like, put his brain into the Frankenstein's monster's brain and their blood didn't match, so therefore they went blind. And it's like, what? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think it was, yeah. And, yeah, I don't. I don't really remember how that went, but... Neither do I. I think it was also like, oh yeah, Son of Frankenstein. Do you remember the... Do you ever see the Son of Frankenstein? I, I've, seen, I've seen bits of it, yeah. Yeah. Great movie. I wish, okay, I... wait, this cut scene here. So wait, he doesn't kill them. Instead, he waits for them to get inside their giant mech suit. Then he starts fighting them. Well, he knows the rule of it. <laughs> He's got a McDonald's soda in the cup holder. <laughs> <laughs> He knows this is cooler. I love these. I love this game, man. I love this game. It's so funny. There will be blood shed. No, this is more like standing here. I realize. I don't know about that. Because he wasn't moving. All right. One one cool thing I really like is that these is that the the characters in the top, they actually move whenever something happens. If you notice that. Yes, right below their health bars, they're moving with it. Yep. Also, the trees will be destroyed if you walk on them. Yep. Oh, Ooh. that got me. This, this makes so much stronger than mine. It's not fair, Mom. He's cheating. He's a boss who's allowed to have unbelievably godlike power. Yep. It's amazing. You're, you're, it's, it always, I always find it funny to be like, a villain could have just like the answer to any scenario, no matter what, and people just roll with it. But at the moment a hero does it, it's a problem and it needs to be stopped. Yep. Well, I mean, we're not supposed to root for the villain. Like, the villain's supposed to cheat. I know that, but just I just find it funny that it'd be like the moment that a villain could do it as much as they freaking want, and no one can, bats an eye. But the moment a hero does it, it's a god, it's ex machina. Yep. Well, I mean, I guess if a if a villain does it, it's a devil ex machina. <laughs> yeah, he's basically do sex machina. Do sex machina. Thank you, Revolver. I can't wait till you're in Duel Links. <laughs> I have never heard someone say Deus Ex Machina as, like, I've never enjoyed it as much as when Revolver said it. Yeah. He's so into it. He's like, okay, there is no possible way he could survive this. How did he survive this? He had a card that halves the damage of an effect twice. Yeah, it stacks. Yeah. <laughs> I just imagine it would be like, who the hell prints a card like that? And additionally, if 
the car and the, the, what's even better is it prevents attacks for four turns afterwards <laughs> and if the card leaves the field by opponent's card effect it negates all of the opponent's monsters effects and destroys them how specific <laughs> it's the most specific card ever designed and you managed to proc it I don't. I, I. I'm not sure exactly what's more specific: that card that you saw could use, or zero extra link. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, zero extra link is a real card. True, but I'm actually, actually, so that's true. What, 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 what is that? That is a real card, isn't it? Yep. At least I think it is. Um. Let me see. Zero extra. Uh. I'll probably put it in the pot. Yeah, zero extra link. Activate this card by targeting one link monster you control that is co-linked to a link monster. In the extra monster zone, the targeted monster gains 800 attack for each link monster on the field. If a link monster is link summoned using the targeted monster's material, the link monster gains the same attack increase that the targeted monster had until the end of this turn, even if this card leaves the field after damage calculation, if the targeted monster attack destroy this card. So glorious. You say that card's like, as hell, but then so is half the cards in Zexel. I can't really think of a more specific card than that, aside from, like, tran what was it? What, what was that card that you saw? use? like, Transaction Rollback or something like that? Yeah, that one that's, like, pay half your life points and activate a trap card from your opponent's grave or something. Oh, yeah, pay half your life points, activate a trap... Technically speaking, that one is pretty generic in the graveyard, because... You can banish it to activate a normal trap in your graveyard. Yeah. Gets him down to 13 life points. Yeah. I think I think 13 life points is the lowest any character has ever gotten in Yu-Gi-Oh! without being 1 or 0. Without a 1 or a 0 attached to it? Yeah, because I was going to say that. Yami Yugi with 0 or 10. Yeah, but, I mean, technically speaking, those ones don't count because those were made by an effect. Yeah, he's not like, like having it. Like, I know it's not exactly natural, but Yusaku got to 13 life points with natural cause. More or less, yeah. Yep, okay, so now we get Flint's backstory. Which I don't think anyone cares about. <laughs> and why are we showing it? Uh, well, because he's the guy that we just fought. I I just... You say that that card's racist, because then there's like half of the cards in Zexo where it's like... If your monster attacks an opponent's monster, it wasn't destroyed by a battle, you can attack again with an extra 800 attack points and then destroy the opponent's monster even if it wasn't destroyed. Or something like that. It's like, what the frig- What scenario would you ever play this card? This one and this one only. And well, I mean, if a monster that wasn't destroyed by battle, you could attack it twice. I don't- uh, There's so many- There's so many freaking specific cards. Yeah, yeah I don't- think it's more specific than having effects damage twice- and making a scenario where you cannot attack for exactly four turns, and then making it so the card cannot leave the field, or else a specific board state will be destroyed. I haven't watched, I don't watch the Rush Dueling shows, but I do like the fact that apparently like none of the cards they use are made up specifically for the show. Like they, they genuinely- Except in the first episode. Except, the... mm -hmm. Yeah. The first episode, the very first episode... Oh, wait, this is Float's origin story. Oh. Okay, never mind. But anyways, yeah. The the first episode had this one card that I've never seen printed. It was called um, High Magic Double XL. I see. Yeah. And it, like, essentially what it did was uh, shuffle two monsters with different attributes from your graveyard into your deck. Uh, then one seven zero magician you control against twenty one hundred attack. Oh, I see. Surprising to me. Like that's not even ridiculous. No, it's not. It's somewhat reasonable, I guess. I guess they just never got around to it or something. But yeah, I do like the fact that like they don't make up their own cards. They use cards that are actually exist. It's like why couldn't the actual anime have done that? Uh, because raisins. Yeah, because raisins is my intel guy. <laughs> <laughs> 